Now we've captured the image, we can add further information to it by means of graphics that sit on top of the image. First thing that we might want to do is to show a scale bar, which indicates the general size of the image. In this case, you can see the scale bar is reporting 2 millimeters, which gives us an idea of the overall size of the image. We can also add further detail to the image by selecting the basic annotation. With this, for example, we can display the image name in the bottom left hand corner. We can add a short description of the sample that we've just acquired by clicking on description and typing in. And you can see that this appears on the image as well. If you want to show the time at which the image was recorded then click on the time button and the time is displayed in the top right hand corner. And we can also show on the image a simple pointer that you can use to indicate a particular feature of interest. So in this case I can move, I can move the arrow to a position. Those, that information is stored with the image but it doesn't change the image. It is saved as an overlay. If I want to go one step further and merge that information into the image then all I need to do is to click the button here which is merge all and that information will replace the image or it will create a duplicate image. I prefer at this point to create a duplicate image because that means that my original image is not destroyed. So I click create duplicate and you can now see that I've got two images in the gallery. Both images look the same but the second one which is called the copy image now has that information merged with it.